Good day. We're back down in my garden today, but we're not doing a gardening project. This is a home reno DIY project. That's right. It's time to change out the window. This window up here is the victim of the day. It's in hard shape and rotten for a while and it's very much past time to get it out of here. So I have some basic tools. I need a broken up old utility knife in order to cut the caulking ceiling sealant around the uh, outside the window. I need a hammer and I need a crowbar and I'm going to take out a window. Push on the window, right here in the middle. You can push as hard as you want, you're not going to push it back out. But I need you to keep it from falling in. Don't 
let go, it'll fall in. You are now the only thing holding that window in. I gotta move the ladder. Don't let go. Push up, push. <coughs> the only thing that's likely to fall right now is the window. Okay, so the window's out. Now I get into the more difficult part of this project in the simple fact that this is not a standard size window. I need to get out of the direct sun so I can actually see if I'm recording myself or not. So this window was 39 and an eighth wide by 40 and a quarter or something tall. Needless to say, that would be a custom window and a custom size. Usually means custom money too. So I went out to one of the big box stores and I got the next closest size. In this case, it was 48 by 36 inches. So I need to build up the underside or the top, build it down one or the other in order to make the new window fit. I'm probably going to have to fit in some other piece of wood on the side to account for the width to get that just right. So I got to do a little bit of figuring, a little coupling and going until I get uh, figured out exactly what wood I got and what I can do to make this fit because there's no stopping now that the window is out. It, it has to be finished. <laughs> so let's see what happens next. So it's a lovely view out here on the patio. Look right down in the garden. Except this isn't a patio and this is not a welcome hole in the wall. Although you can look down in the garden. So what I've done now is this board up here that you can just barely see is one of the filler pieces that I need in order to make the hole sized more for the new window. I'm going to have to put a filler piece on the bottom as well. I'm just sizing it up here with some of this old plywood, old uh, pallet wood, so I can figure out what I need. Now this piece up here... I, well, maybe you can see sawdust all over me. I went down in the shop and found an old piece of timber my father had given me that was the right length, but was 
more akin to a 6x6 or an 8x8 at one point. I had cut on it at some point and tried to cut something out of it and yeah, it, I still got a one inch piece down there, it's just a bit raggedy on one side. Maybe I'll find a use for that some other point. But this piece is not bad for square. It's a little wobbly on the inside, but uh, drywall is going to go over that at some point anyway. Don't make a difference. So the next part is to take my nice handy drill. And even though the, this piece of wood is very nicely, very nice and tight into the hole where I want it, and probably providing more structure than what was there before, considering what I'm seeing here, um, this is going to add structure to the room, which will help immensely. So let's get started on putting some screws in to hold this in place. That's not going anywhere. Now one of the worst parts of this is the fact that I don't have quite enough nice, good, uh, freshly store-bought lumber in order to fill in this hole. It's used pallet wood. Now, I'm not going to shy away from, I'm not going to shy away from admitting that I'm using some pallet wood for this. It's perfectly good. The hole uh, for the previous window was framed adequately. This is mostly just going to add more structure. Unfortunately, I have to remove some nails before I can make use of this. So I'm going to do that, get the pieces ready, and we'll come back at another step. So this is the new lower sill for my new window. You can see behind me, I got a new stud in the wall here to help support everything. And I've got the outside uh, voids filled with plywood, covered over with plywood. So I'm making good progress. I've been at this for more than an hour, an hour and a half. A lot of that time's been back and forth between up here in the shop, cut wood, get stuff ready come up and put it in place and then start with the next part. So from here, the next part is back outside because I need to cover over the plywood I just put on with a good skim of, uh, of Tyvek. That'll help keep all the, uh, all the weather from being able to get in through. So need to get that done next. He was just up on the ladder checking me out. I was trying to catch him while he was still on the ladder, but he's a bit nervous. Okay, so I now have the Tyvek protecting the edges of the, all the new wood surrounding the new hole for the window. And I'm about to go outside. I have to put some caulking around the inside flange of the window and then I'll be hoisting it up and putting it in place. And hopefully everything fits.
is dead on level. Okay, so it might not have been the best demonstration of how to put in a window ever, but it was my demonstration. Eh, maybe it wasn't all that useful, but I have one last project, to, part of this project to do, and that's to get stuffed. I need the spray foam, the, the gap in between the window and the frame that I put in. So I don't have any nasty drafts coming in tonight. It's getting cold out. It's, it's the way it is. The sun's going away and temperature's dropping quickly. So I need to, to spray foam this. I'm not at the moment worrying about fixing the siding on the outside of the house. That's going to come a bit later. I have some... I have some siding downstairs that is the right size, but is most definitely not the right color. So my house is going to get a bit of a two-tone job for a little while, because that's what I'm going to have. I, I got to fix the holes somehow. So I'll fix the holes and I'll worry about the mismatched coloring at a later date. Maybe I'll get it all painted. We'll see. But... And uh, one last thing I have to do on the outside for tonight is to use tuck tape to go around the edge of the window where it meets the Tyvek and make sure that everything is sealed that way so no water is getting in behind it to cause me more trouble. Water infiltration was a good part of the reason that this window had to be replaced. Starting to look good. So right now I'm just going to celebrate the fact that I have a new window. Run out of storage space, so I'm going to cut the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll come back and watch me again in the next video. And I hope you have a great day. See you in the next video.